The U.S. Mid-Amateur Championship is coming to Conway Farms and Knollwood Club this September 8th through the 13th. These well-respected Lake Forest clubs will be ideal hosts in this prominent USGA tournament intended for amateur golfers 25 years and older. These two courses are, are unique and fabulous golf courses. What a pairing for these 264 players who will play in the U.S. Mid-Amateur. They are different golf courses, but each spectacular in their own way. Conway Farms is a big, bold, demanding golf course with a lot of Scottish Lynx feel in the collection areas around the greens. Knollwood is an older, classic golf course developed in 1924 by historical architects Colt and Allison from England and renovated in 09 and 10 by Keith Foster. It has an old classic parkland feel, but yet is a strong test of golf. The first two rounds of the tournament are stroke play. From there, it moves on to the always interesting match play. This is the real amateur golfer. I mean, the this is a, a person who's decided to be an amateur golfer for their life. And you know, when Bobby Jones decided to have the Masters at Augusta the way that he did, he wanted to reward amateur golf. And I think this, more than maybe any other event, does that. The defending champion is Randy Lewis of Alma, Michigan. At the age of 54, Lewis became the oldest champion in mid-am history, which earned him a trip to play in this year's Masters. The whole experience was almost surreal. You know, it went by so fast, you know, almost blinked and it was over with. I remember when I played, I played on Monday with Tom Watson. We played at 8 a.m. and all my family and friends are there. And, and you know, 50,000 people are streaming in through the gates and I'm on the first tee with Tom at 8 a.m. And so we're playing and, and it's just a beautiful day. And, you know, I get on the 14th hole. We hit our tee shots and we're walking up 14 fairway. And I kind of turn around and walk backwards and look at, 13 green and all the people and and I just shake my head and go you know this is just going way too fast and I mean you just you just can't even put it into words. This is the reason this championship was put in place to give this player in this in this age bracket the opportunity to compete at a national level against some of the best amateurs in the world and it's, that's exactly what he did not only compete he, he whooped on him last year. Conway Farms which opened in 1991 has an outstanding mix of holes in a wonderful setting. The club has recently made a few tweaks to toughen up this Tom Fazio design. We've put quite a few bent collection areas in, so uh, we've added bent areas around some of the greens in about six different spots. Uh, we've narrowed some fairways uh, with bluegrass uh, to make it a little more penal if, uh, if you're not straight off the tee and uh, changed some bunker lines. So uh, there's uh, some pretty significant things, about 13 different holes we've made uh, at least one or two different changes. Admission is free for all spectators who attend the Mid-Am. It's also a great chance to see Conway Farms, which will play host to the PGA Tour's FedEx Playoffs and the BMW Championship in 2013.